Okay, I'm going to go over the troubleshoot of the accumulator. Now there's not a lot of things can happen to these uh, parts, but there are a few that are notable. Probably the most common, and I showed you this in my last video on these things, uh, this will start leaking. And it usually leaks in the solder joint, and all you can do is either replace the plug or it, if it's not threaded in, you have to replace the whole accumulator. Okay. The next, probably, uh, and probably the most common thing that happens to these things uh, is they rust out down here. Uh, this one's not too bad. There's some rust down there, but they are just steel, and I've actually seen a, a number of them rust out. Uh, one other thing that's uh, it's not very common, but it does happen, is this thing right here. Now I showed you that thing in the uh, in the disassembly of it. Uh, the ones for heat pumps usually have a screen. Some of them that are used in air conditioners don't have a screen. Uh, I have seen those plug up. And what they usually do, I mean, not just the screen, although the screen could plug, but the hole usually plugs in behind it. It takes about 10 minutes to get all the refrigerant from the system in here. Now, these are designed so that the entire charge of the unit could be placed in there and still not reach up to where it goes out uh, the outlet. So, uh... It's kind of an odd failure. It'll drive you looney tune if you ever have it. If this thing, if that plugs up, that refrigerant goes in there and the whole system just kind of stops working. It's pumping and everything acts like it's low on charge. You add charge to it. It does help uh, for a little while and then the refrigerant goes back into that thing. And uh, so that could be one of the failures. So the, the three failures are going to be this thing leaking, it rusting out, and possibly plugging that orifice. And that's about it for troubleshooting. Troubleshooting, there's not a whole lot to these things.